Hi there, Lucas here from Peaks Peak. And today we are going to share with you the assembly of the Harbor Freight US General 30 inch five drawer toolbox. So we bought uh, these toolboxes, you know, we've been working on a big garage build and I wanted the boys to have a good start on a tool set and uh, toolboxes for that garage. So I got each of them a toolbox and of course they had green, so I had to have one too. Uh, they really are super nice toolboxes. We got a good deal on them. They were running a 30% off of one item sale. So I picked these up in separate trips and, and saved 50 bucks. Um, they were just a little over $200 a piece, which uh, is, is a good buy. Now, they're not perfect. They've got some, some little issues. Assembly is difficult at times because some of the holes don't line up perfectly. Um, <clears throat> when we finished up the assembly, this one worked perfect. The door uh, opens and closes perfectly. Mine seems to drag just a little bit. So you can hear it kind of hangs up right there. Um, and I don't really know if I have any way to fix that short of bending the sides out and all that. So I've just decided that I'm probably not going to be opening and closing that a whole bunch anyway. I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, but I'll show you some of the tricks that we come up with for assembling these because we got to do it three times. Um, so I saved the last one to, to record video um, so that I can share that with you. But, you know, these toolboxes have some great features uh, that I'm really excited about. I can't wait to get them filled up with tools and get them out there in that new garage. When the lid is open, then the drawers are unlocked. When you close it, it locks the drawers, and that's these, this mechanism right here. We've got struts on here to, to keep the lid open. There are latches on the drawers with a little slide to unlock them. So they latch closed. All of these drawers that come all the way to the right side, the latches on the right, these two drawers over here, the latches on the left. Pretty smooth operation. You've got steer casters on one end, which is the end of your tray and your handle. So that works out really well. Oops, dropped the key there. Of course, uh, his is being put to good use with his uh, Nerf guns here, but uh, he's got his little Cletus 10 mil. Nerf darts. Everybody needs Nerf darts in their <laughs> toolbox. What do you think of your toolbox, buddy? Cool. You excited about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where are you keeping it right now until the garage is done? In my room. Right on. Right here. All right. Cool deal. I'm going to give you just the quick how this thing goes together, your best best bet. Um, you're going to put your casters on this bottom piece first. So you're basically going to turn it upside down and run your carriage bolts through. You want to take this little tool mat out first and put your carriage bolts through, bolt your casters on there. That's the very first thing you're going to do. Next, once you get your casters on, you're going to flip this back over. And then you're going to take these four corners and put them on your uprights. These have a different spacing at the bottom here than they do at the top. I think the top is an inch and three eighths, and this is one inch. The one inch side, the shorter side, goes down. These don't fit together very well, and you've got to do some finagling to get the bolts in them, so they're a little bit tough. Once you get the four uprights put on, then you put these brackets on, and I would suggest that you just stick your bolts on hand tight, don't tighten them down, that way you've got some movement left because once you get this all framed together, you're gonna to set this toolbox down inside it, and then the uprights will bolt, the top of the uprights will bolt right here. These don't fit together very well either, so it's kinda of hard to get all your bolts in, so if you leave these middle brackets, support braces, loose until you get this tightened up, you've got a little more movement. And then once you get the top tight, then you can tighten these down in place and everything fits together pretty well. Um, it's a pretty simple process. 
You've got two struts or shocks, whatever you want to call them here, um, that need to go on here. Just a nut on the top, nut on the bottom of each one of these. And then you have your hardware is in here somewhere, probably this bottom part, in this box right here. These little angle pieces go in these top corners right here. Your hardware bags that are in here are uh, actually set up to where if you open one bag, it's got the bolts, washers, and nylock nuts for the casters all in one bag. And then the other bag has all the nuts for these uprights. Um, yeah, so that's the quick rundown. Now, if you want to stick with me, you can kind of watch me go through the process and put the thing together. Um, keys are right on the bag, right on the front. Now, I will tell you, one of these that we opened up was set up a little bit differently. This box was in the top and the struts were already on it. That may just mean that somebody returned it and then they repacked it, I don't know. But anyway, so you may find a little bit different setup in yours, but it's really a straightforward uh, installation or assembly. Um, but it takes some time. It's not a real easy process because getting everything lined up um, can be a little bit tricky. So let's uh, go ahead and get to work. All right, when you get ready to put your casters on, if you'll lay your cardboard on top of your box here and turn them around, then you can easily reach up underneath here and stick these bolts through. You're gonna put one washer and you wanna make sure that you put one nylock nut on there and you don't want to mix up the bags. You want to use this bag that's got these nylock nuts. Um, and some people have complained that these bolts spin easily inside the, you know, the carriage bolts with little squares and that they'll spin and you can't get the nuts tightened down. But what I found is if you push them up in there and get them positioned well, and then uh, put your thumb on it, if you use an impact driver, then you can drive them right down and it pulls them up tight, it works really well. Now, what you might want to watch out for is don't tighten all these bolts down until you get all four in, and that way you've got your caster centered on there. The other thing about your casters is you wanna make sure that you put your steer casters both on the same side because that's the side that you're gonna set up next to your handle so that you can steer the cart around the easiest. on this next one I mentioned you got a one inch side and a one and three eighths inch side the short side goes down in here this bag of hardware that has these nuts with the little ribs on them those are the ones that you're going to use on all this so just dump the whole hardware bag out into your tray here that way you've got them there to choose from use your impact driver and a 13 mil socket and you're ready to roll here didn't line up as well on this one as they did the first one I put together and I think that was paybacks because my son had trouble putting that white one together getting the bolt holes to line up and I teased him about it because mine went together really easy but this one was tough and I tell you what I did just kind of a little trick I used to get them in there is these are not welded seams in the corner so you can bend these out and I would stick the bolt through and get it started at an angle and then use a pair of channel locks to kind of twist it and let it pull itself in where it needed to be and you can kind of get it to come together. Now you can see that these uprights are kind of leaning outward right now and it'll all have to be pulled together as I bolt this together. Um, it does come together, but yeah, they're a little difficult to get everything lined up and to get it right. <laughs> 
that's for sure. Now, so this is the kind of stuff that you're dealing with with this toolbox when you put it together. This, uh, this is the alignment of the where the bolts on the bottom tray are hard to put together, then you end up with these flared out at the top. But the one thing I wanna tell you, you can get it all pushed in and get the bolts where they need to be. But one thing you don't wanna do, see these, these black rivets right here. You gotta watch out for these rivets and make sure that they're on the outside of this corner rail. If you don't, when you go to tighten this down and your rivets back in behind this bracket, it won't tighten down all the way. Ask me how I know. So my suggestion is as you put this together, make sure that you've put the backside in first and get this aligned because you can pull the front rails in where they need to be with the bolts once you get to that point. I almost forgot my little side tray goes right here on the side with your steer wheels underneath your handle. So I gotta just pull these bolts back out real quick stick this on the side before I move on to putting my bolts in the top. Mm -hmm. toolboxes now I will tell you they're they're not uh, top quality when you put these together there are some issues with getting fitment and alignment on everything um, on the white one and the green one when we close these lids they drag a little bit um, we got his lined up pretty good actually mine is is quite a bit worse um, the lid doesn't really want to close unless you push it over sideways and then it's really tight it's going to scratch the paint, so I don't really know the fix for that, but I also know in real life, yours is perfect. Yours, yours went together really well, it fit well, and everything works just like it should. But these two are not just exactly right. So you don't know what you're going to get. But I will also say I know what real life is like, and so once this is out in the garage, you know, some guys are using this in a race car trailer, and they're going to lock it down and and uh, so, you know, they need to make sure that all that stuff is working right. But mine is going to be in the garage and just rolling from bay to bay, car to car as we work on them. So I think it's going to work out really good for us. And they're very affordable at a couple hundred bucks a piece. Well worth it. Um, Caden wants to show you his tool set real quick. So we'll let him show you what he's got. What you got there, bud? Screwdrivers. What else you got in there? Nerf guns. And Nerf guns, right. Because every boy needs Nerf guns. Oh, well, just there a magazine. Mm -hmm. Right on. Some socket set. Socket set. 
in the right Get your standard and metric wrenches. Most of them. You ready to tear something apart, aren't you? <laughs> this apart. All right. 